What out-of-pocket expenses are you likely to incur when buying a home? I know that you've probably heard of zero money down mortgages or 100% financing, so you may have the misconception that means you're not having to put out any money out of your own pocket. There are at least three things that you're probably going to have to pay for out of your own pocket from your own money. The first is earnest money. Earnest money is a good faith deposit that as a buyer you put down once all parties have agreed upon the contract. This money is credited back to you at the closing, so any additional funds you may need to bring, that would be subtracted from that amount. But normally you're going to need to put at least something down when you're buying a house. The second thing is the home inspection. Home inspectors have to be paid up front before they'll do the inspection. It's going to be based on the size of the house, but you can generally expect it to run between four and five hundred dollars. The third thing you're probably going to have to pay out of pocket is the appraisal. Mortgage companies are going to collect that from you whenever you sign your initial paperwork with them going over the rate, the payment, the terms of the mortgage. So that appraisal cost is probably going to run you again around $500. So a lot of people do get confused and think, oh, well, I'm doing a 100% loan or I got the clo- the seller to pay my closing costs. I don't have to pay any money out of pocket. That's not true. Now, as far as the earnest money and the appraisal goes, if you have negotiated for the seller to pay your closing cost, then you would probably be refunded that of money when you go to the closing table. But the home inspection is something that typically the seller is not paying for. So you would have to pay that out of pocket and know, you know, that's not an expense you're going to be reimbursed for. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. If you have a question for Ask Amy, send me a DM or leave a comment below. I'd love to answer your question in a future episode.